Today we're going to disable the admin account on a QNAP NAS unit by creating a new user with administrator privileges. QNAP recently released an update to QTS in July of 2021, and if you log in with the default admin user, it displays a message to disable your admin account and to create another administrator account. This started in QTS 4.5.4. For those who aren't entirely familiar with the whys and the hows, I'll explain in this video. The admin account, literally named admin, has existed by default in the QTS operating system. In fact, before QTS 4.4.1, the default password itself was admin. You could change the password, but the admin user can't be deleted and it can't be renamed. Simply knowing the admin username is a big piece of the information that someone with malicious intent needs. After all, it's half of the username and password information needed to log in. And if you have a weak password, it's that much easier to guess it. Why is this dangerous? Because the default admin account belongs to the administrator group, which has special privileges such as the ability to configure settings, create users, and install applications. In other words, a hacker could gain full control of your system. What QNAP recommends is to basically create a new user in the administrator group with a different name and then disable the admin account. This new user would have all the privileges of the administrator group, so let's do that now. We'll first need to log in as admin. Launch your favorite browser, and in the address bar, type in your QNAP's IP address on port 8080. Enter admin as the username, and then the password. After the interface loads, the first thing you'll notice is the pop-up notification for creating a new administrator account. To create one, you can either click on the notification itself, or launch the control panel, then click on Users, which displays the admin account. If I click on Edit Account Profile, you can't disable your own account, as I mentioned before. Thus, you'll need to create a new user. Let's hit Cancel, then click the Create drop-down button and select Create a User. I'm going to skip the optional fields here and only fill in the required ones. So let's start with the username, which I'll call Access Random. Give it a strong password, then enter it again in the next field to verify. In the User Group section, hit the Edit button, where you'll want to place this user in the Administrator group. Click the Create button, which will now list your newly created user. We can then log out of the admin account and immediately log back in with the new administrator user, Access Random. Enter your password, hit Enter, after which you'll be greeted as a new user. After closing out of the welcome screens, of which there are many, have you ever seen so many windows pop? up. Let's return to the control panel and hit the user's link again, where you can now disable the default admin account by clicking on the Edit Account Profile button. Here, you can click on the checkbox for Disable This Account and hit OK. The admin user is now shown in the grid as disabled. Starting with QTS 4.4.2, QNAP has started assigning the alphanumeric values of the MAC address as the default password for the admin account. However, the account itself will continue to exist by default. Please keep in mind that disabling the admin account isn't a panacea for all network security problems, but it can contribute to a more secure system. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.